evening. Hello, Mr. Alexander. Nice to see you. Good evening. Good evening, me, Jenny. Nice to see you too. Hello, hello, welcome. Good evening. Hello, hello, good evening, Miss Arely. Okay, we are two, four, four six right now. Six. I take the ten list in a couple of minutes. Hello, Miss Laura. Good evening, Mr. Elvin. Good evening, Miss Sonia. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Oh, Christmas is at your home, Miss Sonia. Yeah. Christmas tree. Solo Miss Sonia tiene el arbolito. También aquí en el trabajo. Ah, ahí. Está bien, está bien. Pero es bien pequeño. Ah, sí. <risa> Miss Marisol, nice, nice to see you again. Ok. Ok. Monday 15. Let's get started, okay? Good evening to everyone. Nice to see you again. I hope you had a good weekend. All right, let's start with the attendance list. Miss Mr. Alexander Aaron Doño Flores. Present. Arely del Carmen Cortez de Peña. Present. Carolina Eleonor Cardona de Alvarado. Edgar Jose Cruz Amaya. Elvin Alexander Alvarado Díaz. Present. Erika Beatriz Urbina Guardado. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Francisco Antonio Renderos. Heidi Marisol Menjibar Menjibar. Present. Jenny Marisol Escobar Hernández. Present. José Nicolás García Maravilla. Present, teacher. Thank you, Nicolás. Juan Alberto Rivas. Juan 
Juan Ricardo Alvaringa Alas. Juan Ricardo Menedemo Delgado Vázquez. Laura Noemí Rivas Rivas. Thank you. Maritza Reyes López. Maritza Reyes López. Ronald Alexis. Sonia Miriam Cortés Vargas. Present. Wilmer Fabricio Morales Cáceres. Present. Thank you. Ok, well, eh, let's start. Just hold on. There it is. Ok, we're going to practice the tongue twister. A tongue twister. Ok, can you see the picture? Yeah, did you? Okay, thank you very much. There we go. Okay, we okay how much wood would I woodchuck chuck? We need a teacher. Okay, slower. How much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? One more time. Okay, how much wood would a wood chuck? Chuck, okay. if I would chuck, could chuck, would. Okay, this is to practice the wood sound. Wood charm. Okay, how much wood would a wood chuck, chuck? If I would chuck, could chuck wood. How much wood would I would chuck, chuck if I would chuck, could chuck wood. One more time. How much would would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood how much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood okay who wants to give it a try who wants to give it a try miss laura do you want to you want to give it a try Okay, that is the attitude. We excellent. Okay, how much would wood a uh, wood chuck chuck if I would chuck cool chuck wood? Perfect, excellent, good job. <laughs> okay. Okay, how about Miss Alexander? Do you want to give it a try? How much wood would a uh, wood chuck chuck if I would chuck cool cool chuck wood? Excellent, perfect. Mr. Wilmer? Let's see how much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood. Excellent, perfect. Good job. Uh, Miss Jenny, do you want to give it a try? How much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Good job, excellent. Mr. Edgar Jose? How much wood will I will shot, shot if I will shot could chuck wood? Excellent, very good. Uh, Sonia? Uh, how much wood will, will, will I will chuck, chuck if I will chuck to chuck wood? Excellent. Okay, Miss Carolina. Um, how much will I will chuck chuck? I, I will chuck call chuck Excellent. Okay. Also, we have another one. 
Uh, this one, okay. This one says, I wish to wish the wish you wish to wish. But if you wish the wish the witch wishes, I won't wish the wish you wish to wish. A little bit tricky. Okay. That's para practicar el CH sound. One more time. I wish to wish the wish to wish to wish, wish, to wish, wish but wish, if you wish the wish the wish, 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 wish I want wish the wish you wish I wish you know. wish, wish okay to I wish, give you time wish. to for you to practice a couple of seconds for you to practice okay I wish to wish the wish you wish to wish but if you wish the wish the witch wishes, I won't wish the wish you wish to wish. Okay, a lot of wishes in, in only one paragraph. Okay, vamos a iniciar con Miss Arely. I wish to wish the wish you wish to wish, but if you wish the wish the witch wishes, I won't wish the wish you wish to wish. Oh, perfect. Good pronunciation. Excellent. Okay, Miss Erika Urbina, you ready? I wish to wish the wish you wish to wish, but if you wish the wish the wish wishes, I won't. Which the which you wish to wish. Excellent, good job. Uh, Mr. Elvin. I wish to wish the wish to wish to wish, but if you wish the wish the wish wishes, I want to wish the wish to wish to wish. Excellent, Miss Marisol Menjivar. Okay. Uh wish to wish the wish you wish to wish. But, but if you wish the wish the wish wishes, I won't wish the wish you wish to wish. Excellent. Good job. Okay, let me see, Mr. Juan Alberto Rivas. Yes, teacher. Go ahead, I wish please. to wish. I wish to wish the wish you wish to wish, but if you wish the wish the wish the wishes i want to wish the wish to wish to wish oh yeah good job excellent okay very good vamos también a recordar un poco eh, el uso de would okay would vamos por acá un minuto para compartir con ustedes pantalla Ok, let's see. Vamos a recordar un poco el uso de would like. Ok, would like. Y tenemos, excuse me, what would you like to eat? According to the picture, what would you like to eat? De acuerdo a la, a la fotografía, ¿qué te gustaría comer? What would you like to eat? La respuesta puede ser, I would like to eat. Ok, how about Mr. Nicholas? Uh, I would like to the pizza. I would like to eat. I eat would like to pizza, eat. Please. Okay, excellent. Okay, ex excuse me. What would you like to eat? What would you like to eat? Mr. Edgar Jose Cruz. Um... I would like to eat sushi. Oh, yeah. Excellent. I would like to have, or I would like to eat sushi. Excellent. Would you like to have this too? <laughs> would you like to have this too? Yes, I would, uh, or no, I wouldn't. Vamos con... No, I wouldn't, teacher. Excellent. No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't like to eat that. Perfect. Uh, let me see. Me, Sonia, excuse me. What would you like to drink? 
I would like to drink uh, lemonada. Okay, lemonade. <laughs> lemonade. Okay, I would like to lemonade. drink lemonade. Perfect, Miss Angie. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Eh, la afirmación utilizando would like está compuesta por la siguiente forma. Sujeto, would like to, plus the verb in infinitive, más el complemento. One more time. Está, está compuesto por el sujeto, would like to, más el verbo en infinitivo. ¿Ok? Las formas en negativas. ¿Cómo es la forma negativa? De would like? La forma negativa es, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like to eat shrimp. I wouldn't like to eat shrimp. Wouldn't. Esa es la, la contracción de would not. Entonces, I wouldn't like to eat shrimp. Subject está compuesta de la siguiente forma. Subject wouldn't like to plus verb. Plus verb. ¿Cómo es la forma interrogativa? La forma interrogativa es what would you like to drink? What would you like to drink? Está compuesto por una WH question que sería what, el que significa que, would más el sujeto, más like to, y el verbo en infinitivo. What would you like, what would you like to drink? What would you like to drink? How can I help you? Oh, yeah. I would like to eat breakfast, please. Una vez más, vamos a hacer esta pregunta a Miss Erika Urbina. How can I help you? I would like, I would like to eat uh, beans. Okay, okay. I would like to eat um, breakfast, okay? Breakfast or meat. Excellent. Oh, yeah. What would you like to have on your birthday, Miss Carolina? What would you like to, to have on your birthday? I would like to make the... The cake. Okay, you would like to make a cake. Ah, okay, perfect. I would like to have a cake or I would like to make a cake. Excellent, Miss Carolina. Me gustaría tener un pastel. Excellent. What would you like to eat tonight? Uh, let me see, Miss Jenny. What would you like to eat tonight? I would like to eat pizza tonight. I would like to eat pizza tonight. Chami, excellent, Miss. Uh, would you like to eat pizza too? No, I wouldn't like to eat pizza. I would like to eat a hot dog. Okay, one more, one more time. I must call Mr. Wilmer. The same question. What would you like to eat? Ah, sorry. Would you like to eat a pizza today too? Let's see. Uh, no, I would like to eat a uh, hot dog, please. Excellent. No, I would like to eat hot dog, please. Excellent. Let's see. What would you like to have after that? I would like to have ice cream. Ice cream. Okay, uh, Mr. Juan Alberto Rivas, what would you like to drink? Okay, Mr. Jose Nicolás, what would you like to drink? I, I would like to... I would like to the, drink the apple. Okay, I would like to drink. I would like to drink. I would like to. I would like to drink apple. Okay, apple juice. Okay, green juice. Un cuadro verde. Okay, green juice. Un jugo verde. Green juice. Muy bien. 
Ok, vamos a ver las respuestas cortas. Short answers. Would he like to drink a coffee? Yes, he would. No, he wouldn't. Yes, he would. Esa es una respuesta corta. Eh, would she like to drink a Coke? La respuesta corta sería... No, she... No, she wouldn't. No, she wouldn't. No, she wouldn't. Ok. Eh, let's see. Miss Laura, would he like to eat anything now? No, he wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. Perfect. Excellent. Let's see. Uh, Miss Marisol Menjibar, would she like to drink anything now? Um, no, she wouldn't. No, she wouldn't. Perfect. No, she wouldn't. Okay. What would you like to drink? What would you like to drink or eat now? Ya sería sus eh, eh, de forma personal. Por ejemplo, vamos a comenzar con Miss Jenny. What would you like to drink or eat now, Miss Jenny? I would like to um, drink tea. Tea, excellent. Uh, Miss Arely, what would you like to drink or eat now? I would like to drink uh, iced coffee. Iced coffee, yeah, me too. Excellent. Let's see, Mr. Wilmer. Uh, what would you like to drink or eat now? I would like to drink a Coke, Coke. and eat, and eat uh, uh, some vegetable. Vegetable, okay. The balance, Coke yeah. and vegetable. Okay, <laughs> Sonia Miriam, what would you like to drink or eat? I would like to drink a uh, soda. Okay, can, so can of soda, good. And Miss Carolina, what would you like to drink or eat now? Um, I would like the, the drink, to drink the water. Water. You would like to drink water. Excellent. Water. Mr. Juan Ricardo Meneremo, what would you like to drink or eat? What you really you like to uh, drink? Eat now. ¿Qué le gustaría tomar o comer ahorita? Esa es la pregunta. Coffee. <laughs> okay, okay, vamos a contestar de esa forma. I would like to drink coffee. O sea, really, I, 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 I would, I would like, like to drink, to drink coffee. Coffee. Excellent. Okay, uh, let me see, Mr. Edgar, what would you like to eat or drink? Right now, I would like to drink a Michelob and oh. eat seafood. Okay, I thought you were, you were, you will ask something hot, okay, but you are asking for something cold. Okay, good. Let me see, how about Mr. Elvin, what would you like to drink or eat? Uh, would you uh, would you like to drink soda? Okay, I would like to drink, drink soda. To drink to soda. Drink soda. Ex excellent. Miss Marisol, uh, what would you like to drink or eat? Uh, I would... Okay. I would like to have an um, orange juice. Okay, orange juice, delicious, excellent. Muy bien, excelente. Okay, ahora, ¿a dónde le gustaría viajar? Where would you like to travel? Where would you like to travel? Let me see, how about Miss Jenny? Where would you like to travel? I would like to travel Panama. To Panama, okay. Uh, Miss Erika, where would you like to travel? I would like. I would like to. Hello. Okay, I think I think she has problem with her internet. Okay, uh, Mr. Alexander, where would you like to travel? 
I would like to travel to uh, Germany. Okay, you would like to travel to Germany. Perfect. Uh, Mr. Ronald, where would you like to travel? Miss Laura, where would you like to travel? I would like to travel South Korea. South yeah. Korea, okay, excellent. Miss Sonia, where would you like to travel next vacation? I would like to travel to Roatan. Roatan. Vacation. Yeah, me too. Miss Juan Ricardo, Menedemo, where would you like to travel? What is your right to travel to uh, Guatemala? Guatemala. Guatemala. Excellent. Ok, bueno, ahora vamos a desarrollar el ejercicio de vocabulario que se encuentra en la página 27, 27, page 27. Ok. Exercise 1, unit 2. Exercise 1. Unit, unit two, exercise one, page 27. It is a match the different step to follow when making online purchases. Okay, tenemos que ir conectando en orden los del lado izquierdo con el lado, con el lado derecho. Okay, este lo puede encontrar en su manual, en la página 27. Okay, 27. 27. O sea que vamos a poner el nombre y lo vamos a corregir teacher, en el cuadrito, ¿no? Eh, va, tiene que ponerlo en orden y tiene que uh -huh. buscar la pareja del lado izquierdo con el lado derecho. Por ejemplo, ah. eh, credit card. ¿Con cuál hace match? ¿Con cuál? Billy Andrés. Billy Andrés. Uh -huh. Quiero ver. Credit cards. Podría ser, por ejemplo, la última dice login. Login. ¿Con cuál quedaría bien? Login. To your account. To your account. Ok, ingresar a su account. To your account. Pues vamos a ir poniendo en orden también y colocando el lado izquierdo que corresponde con los del lado derecho. Ok, you have three minutes. Three minutes.
Oh, to go to a page. Charity is time for the way there. All right, let me know when you finish, please. No, not yet? Okay. Yes. Okay, cuando finalice, me escribe en el chat. Finish. Finish, please. Okay.
Okay, two students more.
Okay. One more. Okay, let's start. Let's start. Okay, number one. Number one. Who has number one? Me, teacher. Okay, Mr. Wilmer, please. Go, go to the website. Okay, go to the website. Okay. The online website. Excellent. Go to the online web page or website excellent then login information uh, information okay miss laura account. login to your account login into your account perfect mr menedemo teacher the three teacher Yep. Only wait by Okay. Then we have okay, we have a right 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 No. I think that is right billing address. Excellent. Right the billing address. Very good. Right the billing address. Okay. A confirm. Confirm. Payment. Right. Information. No. Okay. Confirm your information and submit. Confirm your information and submit. Select the items to purchase. Excellent. Select the items to purchase. Okay. And check price. The price. price. Check the price. Excellent. Uh, let me see. Confirm the method of payment. The method of payment, perfect. Okay, entonces tenemos credit, credit card information, confirm your information okay. and submit, select the items to purchase, go to the online webpage, write the billing address, check the price, confirm the method of payment, Login to your account. Login to your, to your account. Excellent. Good job. Okay, let's continue. Okay. Exercise two. Okay, in the exercise two, it says ask different partners, partners, Valid reason why customer can ask for the refund and reason when they cannot ask for it. Vamos a entrevistar a nuestros compañeros. Vamos a hacerlo en grupos de tres. Y les va a preguntar cuáles son las razones válidas el por qué un cliente puede eh, pedir su devolución, su refund, y las razones por las que ellos no pueden pedir un refund, la devolución, refund. ¿Ok? Una vez más, vamos a, vamos a reunirnos en grupos, vamos a, a pedir la opinión de nuestros compañeros, por ejemplo, y vamos a saber cuáles son las razones válidas por las que un customer puede pedir un reembolso y cuáles son la, las razones por las cuales no debe de pedir un refund. Refund, dijimos en la clase anterior que era un reembolso. 
brief one. Okay, so let's get in group. Okay, let's get in group. Hold on, there it is. And then we're going to come again. Vamos a, reunir, vamos a trabajar en grupo alrededor de tres, cuatro minutos. Después regresamos a la eh, room y compartimos nuestra respuesta. There we go. De José, ¿verdad? Ajá, Hola. la de José. Sí. sí. Y, y yo dije, y, y yo dije que. Ah, ok. Yo dije que por ahí dice que es eh, ¿Qué dije? <risa> El producto está dañado. Ah, sí. Ay, gracias. Gracias, mi hamster. Gracias, mi hamster. Ya está, ya está dañado. Este lo vamos a devolver. El cerebro va a cambiar. Fue el cerebro ahí. Ay, es en serio. Es en serio, niños. A mí se me olvida. En un dos por tres. Vaya, y la otra. Dos. 
that razones inaceptables. Veamos. Razones inaceptables. Que haya arruinado, que haya mojado el producto o algo. Y... Que no, ya no, que no cumple con la garantía. No, no, algo que no cubre la garantía. Producto deteriorado. deteriorado. Ajá. José Nicolás dice que no cubre la garantía. Me dio mis Laurita. Oh, me un acceptable reason. Maybe. Lo que decía, tal vez se le faltaba alguna parte. A missing part. Or. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Como para el tiempo. Cuando está fuera de tiempo, la entrega fuera de tiempo. Out of time, maybe. Ajá. Así también cuando, cuando ya es como fuera de tiempo. Es... Vaya, que yo te tengo que preguntar por qué me vas a devolver vos el producto, por qué yo te voy a devolver el producto, así es. Correcto. Ajá, vaya, me vas a dar tu nombre y te voy a decir. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe. Eh. Y una razón, una razón inaceptable. I think when it comes, sería. El periodo. Que, eh, prácticamente, pues que perdió la factura. Ajá, pero, pero lleva la garantía. Pero como a, a la, al producto le hace falta esa pieza, the missing part, y está quebrado, pero así como usted dice que fal llegó después del límite, porque ahí sería la garantía, ¿va? Sí. Entonces sería because the product is, is missing part. And... Is a broken. Pero ahí como sería que estaría. Que ya está fuera y ya está fuera de la garantía. Sí, prácticamente sí. Porque uh -huh. ya pasó el periodo, pues. Digamos que le dan a usted un, le dan un mes de garantía. Ya Ajá. Sí, porque va. Entonces sería, entonces esa parte sería, vaya, eh, because the product is missing part and is a broken and. ¿Cómo es? Caducó el tiempo de, de reclamo. Porque, no de reclamo porque no nos está reclamando porque no le entregamos un producto defectuoso, sino que ella nos está haciendo eso. Está Entonces, queriendo el reembolso. Porque el tiempo ella. De garantía. Ajá. Pero como ella es la que está pidiendo el reembolso, digamos, en este caso, nosotros somos la empresa, nos trajeron la licuadora y ella quiere un, un reembolso, se lo aceptamos. ¿Por qué dijimos primero? Porque está dentro de la garantía, está en buen estado, trae factura. Pero ¿por qué no lo podemos aceptar? Porque le hace falta una parte, está quebrada. Y ya está fuera de la garantía, sería. Entonces uh -huh. sería, vaya, en la última, because the product is a missing part and in a broken, and a, is, sería, and is. Vamos a ver, is, uh, is already, and is already out. Of guarantee. 
of what warranty uh -huh. Uh -huh. out of warranty uh -huh. ready out of out of sería out of warranty uh -huh. uh, otro producto que podrían devolvernos um, Shoes. Yes. Zapatos. Shoes. De tacón. De tacón alto. Um, veamos. Um, ¿Le pueden hacer el, el reembolso? Ajá, pero ¿por qué no haría el reembolso? ¿Por qué se lo aceptamos? Because the product is um, a good condition. A ver, because the product is because the product is a good condition. Está dentro de la caja in, 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 in a box, creo que es. Si no me equivoco eso, porque ya el zapato es diferente. Uh -huh. um, sí. Is a good condition. Eh, ¿Cómo fue lo otro que dijo? El, que, que está dentro de la caja, pero no sé cómo ponerlo. Is in a box. Is in a box. No sé si sería así, in a box. Quiero ver. In a box sería. Pincel de box. Dentro. Incis. Dentro. Inside. ¿Ah? Inside. Ajá. Uh -huh. Inside the box. But no is unacceptable is um, because the product is dirt, dirty. Están sucios, is dirty, um, no, don't have the, the voices, invoices, que no trajo, no tiene la, la factura, ¿verdad? Esa sería la otra. Uh -huh. um, Quiero ver. ¿Por qué? Otro producto sería este el cell phone. Un cell phone. Uh -huh. Sure. Hello, hello. Una consulta. Yeah. Estamos viendo las partes de un producto que una de las condiciones para pedir un refund podría ser eh, the product has missing parts or has missing pieces. Both pieces or part, both, but ambos. Oh, okay.
Una, una razón cada uno hemos colocado. Por modelo. Eh, for bad publicity. <risa> Ajá. No, pero yo esa 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 ligerilla de de I don't cover the guarantee. Porque no cubre la garantía. Ah, okay. Bueno. Vamos a ver. ¿Cuál fue la primera que dio usted? Yo dije Damage ah, Products. Damage Products. Dijo ella. Ya nos vamos. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> okay, good. Let's start with um, Mr. Elvin, Jose, and Miss Carolina. Ok, uh, vamos a decir todos o, o digo yo el de Elvin. Eh, como es un solo, ¿verdad? Podría uno por grupo, vamos a ir. Arriba, vamos a mm, Ok. Uh, bueno, el acepto, acepto, rezo, publish bad. Ok, um, An acceptable reason below 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 product. Okay. And the other reasons, Mr. Elvins and Mr. Nicolas. Uh, Jose, I don't get request by products. Does not cover the warranty. Okay. Does not cover the warranty. Excellent. Good. Okay, uh, how about Miss Jenny? Um, Miss Erica is a uh, is acceptable reason is because bring the warranty and have in a voices and good condition of the product, but no is an acceptable reason is because the product is a missing part and is a broken and is already of out of work. Miss Erica? Oh, Miss Jenny, as the acceptable reason the choose because the product is a good condition is inside the box. And Um, 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 reason does not have the involved, the product is damaged. Damage, perfect, excellent. Uh, let me see, Mr. Juan Menedemo. No lo hicimos, Tiche, porque a Juan Ricardo Alas le falló y al otro muchacho le falló, no, no okay. terminamos, quedamos okay. a medio. How about Mr. Eh, Alexander? Ok. Miss Sonia? Um, I think uh, the acceptable respond is product is broken. And an acceptable 
the product was purchased and liquidated. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, Miss Arely. Okay, I worked with Miss Laura and Miss and Mr. Wilmer, and Wilmer says that the acceptable reason to ask for a refund is when the um, when the product is previously used. Mm -hmm. When you Got receive it. the product as, and it's previously used, and an acceptable reason is when the people use the product once and then they want to return the product to the store. Gotcha. Mr. Wilmer? I really said that when the product is out, is out of time, it didn't arrive on time, it's an acceptable reason to give a refund. And she said that is an acceptable reason to give a response when people want to return it just because the size is wrong or maybe the color. And that Got is it. not a good reason. Okay. Good. Excellent. Okay, and Miss Laura. I say when the delivery is out of time. Okay, the delivery is out of time. It's acceptable reason. Yeah. And an acceptable reason is when the client asks for a wrong product. Wrong product. Perfect. Excellent. Okay, good job. All right, now we're going to remember a topic, a topic from a unit two, a topic for unit two. Okay, just give me a second. There we go. Okay, I'm going to send the link to the chat. There you have, we're going to practice a little bit about these, that, those, these, all right, demonstrative pronouns. In Zoom, you have the link. Okay, You're welcome, Alexander. Can we start now? Yes. Okay. Got it. Okay, we are 13. Ricardo Alvarenga, Ronald, Alexander, Nicolás, Arely, Elvin, Erika, Miss Carolina, Jennifer, Mr. Wilmer, Laura, Juan Alberto, Marisol, and Juan Ricardo. Okay, well, there you go. Let's...
Third place, Mr. Wilmer. Second, Areli. And first, Sonia. Excellent. Congratulations to all of you. Okay, let's check it out. The check it out the answers. Well, the questions too. Okay, this se utiliza para señalar o mostrar. Una cosa o persona cerca de mí. Una cosa o persona cerca de mí. That se utiliza para eh, señalar una una persona o una cosa lejos de mí. Lejos de mí, excelente. Vamos con la tres. This se utiliza para señalar o mostrar. Dos o más cosas, dos o más cosas cerca de mí. This, dos, ok, o más eh, cerca de mí. Excelente. Those se utiliza para señalar o mostrar. Dos o más dos cosas o lejos cosas. de mí. Lejos de mí, plural. Excelente. En, de acuerdo a la fotografía. Those, those. those, perfect. De acuerdo a la fotografía. These, 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 these are seven. These, 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 this, this, that, that, that. This. 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 this, that, that, that. that. this. 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 a bunch, un ramo, de, un ramo de, this. Uh -huh. <laughs> Those. 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 Excellent. Very good. Ok, nos vamos a trasladar al manual. Ejercicio 3, página 28. Pero antes de eso vamos a tomar la asistencia. Perdón, antes de ir al ejercicio del manual vamos a tomar la asistencia de este día Mr. Alexander Aarón present Arely del Carmen Cortés de Peña present thank you Car Miss Carolina Leonor Cardona de Alvarado present teacher Edgar José Cruz Amaya present teacher Elvin Alexander Alvarado Díaz present teacher Erika Beatriz present teacher Francisco Antonio Renderos. Heidi Marisol Menjibar Menjibar. Present. Jenny Marisol Escobar Hernández. Present. Good. And Jose Nicolás García Maravilla. Present, teacher. Thank you, sir. Juan Alberto Rivas. Present, teacher. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga Alas. Present, present teacher. Thank you, sir. Juan Ricardo Menedemo Delgado. Present teacher. Laura Noemi. Present. Maritza Reyes. Ronald Alexis Gómez Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you. Ahora sí. Ahora vamos a ir a la página, al ejercicio 3. Ok, ejercicio 3. ¿Qué es lo que haremos acá? Eh, vamos a ir colocando los demonstrative pronouns. This, that, this, those. Ok, de acuerdo to the conversation.
Y nuevamente, cuando finalice, me escribe Fenosh, pero en el chat de Zoom, por favor. No en el WhatsApp, sino en el de Zoom. Escribe Fenosh, teacher. Please. Thank you, Miss Sonia. Okay, Miss Sonia and Mr. Wilmer. Miss Arely, thank you. Miss Jenny, Miss Laura, thank you very much. Mr. Juan Alberto Rivas, Mr. Alexander, excellent. Okay, two more, two more. Okay, there we go. Ok, vamos a seleccionar cierto estudiante para que nos lea la oración con la respuesta. Ok, vamos con la número uno con Mr. José Juan Alberto Rivas. Yes, teacher. How could you, how could you boy something that this? The answer it is. Um, how cold boy, something like this. Something like this, excellent. Number two, Miss Jenny, please. Your mic, please. Your microphone. 
I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No uh, these reports are very heavy. These reports are re really heavy, excellent. These, plural, plural. These, T-H-E-S-E. -E. Okay, exercise three, Mr. Alexander. I had to wear those comfortable shoes I bought. Excellent, those, four, four. four. Uh, Mr. Juan Ricardo Baringa Alas, please. Can you bring me bring me that cup I left, I left in Anna's desk? That perfect. Five, five, Mr. Wilmer. Why I see um, those are Mr. Pineda's children. Excellent, Miss. Okay, Miss Marisol Menjiva, number six. In this picture, you see my wife and daughter. Okay, in that picture, you see my wife and daughter. Okay, let's get it. I want to see the following. Number one, this, number, number two, these, plural. Three, those, plural. Four, that, singular. Those, plural, that, eh, singular. Okay. Ese fue el ejercicio 3 de la página 28. Ahora lo que vamos a desarrollar es. Porque no creo que la cupa sí es el. Permítame. No. Permítame, permítame. Vamos a desarrollar una página de trabajo con nuestros compañeros. Vamos a practicar un poco el wood. Voy a colocar, voy a colocar el el link en el chat ahorita mismo para que no se vayan a perder y vamos a crear los grupos vamos a realizar este ejercicio creo que está bastante corto lo vamos a hacer en dos minutos ok let's start three two one action
Ajá, también. Ahí la línea de Nick también me da para... Ah, no. Y, que, y también para el sándwich. Ajá, entonces tendré que ponerla tú. ¿Verdad? Ok. Nick. Would like to eat sandwich and chocolate uh, and cookies and cookies and cookies and sandwich and cookie and sandwich. Tom, Tom, Tom va para la banana y el sándwich. Tom would like, like to eat. Creo que no. Yo creo que no vamos a buscar ahí el tocer. ¿O? Banana. Banana y qué más quería, quería. Eh, sandwich. Sandwich. Amanda dice que chocolate. Like some. Y, y, y chocolate, quiero decir. Chise and cookie. ¿Cómo? Así sería. Chocolate en inglés, ¿cómo que dice? Se dice. Chocolate. Chocolate. Ajá, entonces, ¿cómo quedaría? Quedaría. Ya. Como que Ya and cheese. Now, trig, 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 trig. Uh oh, trig wants many uh, things. Apple, 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 sandwich. Chocolate. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Apple. Sandwich. Chocolate bar. Cheese. Sandwich too.
Yes. Masala, no, masala no va. Yes. Ah, sí, apple. Sí. Cheese. Apple. Mm -hmm. eh, bananas, cookies, cheese, sandwich, apple. ¿Qué más? Ya, cuatro, seis serían. Sí. Ah, pues ya estuvo, ya estuvo lésera. Ay, me falta uno mismo, ah, entonces. Ah, Banana, ah, sandwich, cheese, ah, apple, en apple. En apple. En an apple. Vamos a ver. <risa> <risa> Only one. Esta le dieron buena. Only one. Only, Only one. one. <ríe> y entonces, quiero ver. Toda la dieron mala. No. Una, na, bueno, las demás sí. Una buena. Uh -huh. Ay, eh. El teacher lo quiso de pensar que pensáramos bien con la fíjese bien en la sopa de letras, sopa ahí de, del dibujo, porque creo que está. <risa> no, Entonces, después de alguna letra que la hemos equivocado en la forma de escribir la, 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 la fruta. No, aquí sería. Sería orden para escribirse la. Ajá. No, es que, es que. Ah, banana. Y Nick, al final, Nick, Nick con... cookies, galletas y sándwich. Uh, sándwich. Uh, sándwich. El trip sí llega a varias partes. Tom, quiero ver. Si hay partes. Tom, comes sándwich y banana. Sí. Y ese es el trip. Ponemos porque llega a muchas partes, salen seis voladitas de él. Co por coma lo vamos a dividir. Yo creo que ya se durmió. No, ahí está despierto. Ahí está despierto. Ahí está despierto. Ahí Gulai son sándwich a cookie. A cookie no lleva am, ¿verdad? Sería a cookies. A cookies. Así sería, ¿verdad? Son <risa> sándwich a, a cookies. El, el siempre. Ahí está. Teacher. Hi. Fíjese que este, yo... Hice la, las oraciones, puse Jack would like some sandwich and chocolate. Y, y sucesivamente, vea, ocupé el son. Sí. Like some. Y me saqué cero. <risa> eh, colocó el punto final. Ah, no. Ay, no importa. Puede ser error de dedo, pero no hay problema. Ya lo vamos a revisar. Pero bueno, yo lo estoy haciendo otra vez. No me podía quedar así. Here we are again. Ok, eh, estaba viendo que eh, algunos tienen varias incorrectas, pero no se preocupen, sino que en cierta forma, en, en ocasiones, eh, cuando colocamos un espacio de más, 
cuando se nos olvida colocar el punto final, cuando no le ponemos la capital letter a los nombres propios, entonces por eso es que en ocasiones sale mal. Pero vamos a ir haciéndolo todos juntos para ir viendo si en realidad así es, ¿ok? Así que no se preocupen por la nota. Si tuvieron 10, excelente. Ok, vamos con la número 1. Ok. Eh, why don't you, for number 1. Ok, please go ahead. Ah, in this case, it's number 2, Jack. I would like uh, an apple and a chocolate. Okay, some apple and a chocolate. Agree or disagree? De acuerdo o desacuerdo? Agree or disagree? Con Mr. Alexander. Sí. Chocolate bar can be? Can chocolate be bar. Yeah, chocolate bar. A chocolate bar. And some, what did you say, Mr. Uh, sandwich, right? Sandwich. Mr. Alexander, you said sandwich and chocolate bar. Uh, no. Uh, apple. apple. Apple, okay. Apple and chocolate bar. Excellent. Okay, uh, number two, Miss Meal. Volunteer. Uh, cookies y banana. Cookies and banana. ¿Cómo sería la forma completa? Miss Meal. Miss Meal would like some cookies and uh, banana. Excellent. Okay, Nick. How about Nick? What what does Nick want? Nick would like some cookies and a sandwich. Okay. Agree or disagree, Miss Laura, with Miss Erica? With number three. Banana and cookie. Miss Neil okay. would like a banana and cookie. Excellent. Okay. In Good. I was called Nick. I'm sorry, Tom. What happened with Tom? Mr. Elvin, do you have Tom's sentence? Tom. Tom would like some sandwich and banana. How about Amanda? Amanda. Amanda would like some cheese and chocolate. Chocolate. In a, in a chocolate. Perfect. And the final one. Trick. Mr. Wilmer, do you have trick? Yes, I have, but it's, I have it wrong. Let us know why. Uh, I don't know. Maybe because the team three would like a lot of things. An apple, some chocolate, sandwich, and some cookies. Okay, well, it's okay. All right, that was the practice of wood. Okay, creo que hemos tenido bastante con wood. Ahora vamos a tener eh, la práctica de be going to. Be going to. Vamos a reposar un poco a través de eh, una práctica, una mini práctica de be going to. Be going to remember we use the verb to be in this case can be she is we are they are plus be going to for example she is going to travel they are going to tell the situation they are uh, we are going to take the exam uh, she is going to have vacation etc and etc see no sabe si es Desea ingresar sin el link, únicamente va a copiar esto en, sus, en su buscador, joinmyquiz.com, seguido del código, que es 059923, y después coloca sus datos. 
We have seven players. We've got ten players. Okay, there we go.
All right, this was much better. Estuvo mucho mejor, excelente. Vamos a revisar las preguntas. What are you brother going to do tomorrow? And are you going to see the movie? Yes, I am. My friend is going to have a birthday party next week. I can see a lot of great clowns in the sky. It's going to, I think it's going to rain soon. Okay, when are go, when are they going to arrive? I'm sure. Excellent. And what are you doing? Are you going to do on your summer holiday? Excellent. Your is your birth, is your friend going to join us? Yes, yeah, she is. Excellent. Uh, are they going? to be here soon? No, they aren't. What time are you going to leave for the airport? You, are you going to go home after our English class? Excellent. She, is your friend going to be late? No, she isn't. All right. Is your cousin going to move to another apartment? We don't know, neither. Okay, good. Let's see. Juan Alberto, excellent. Mr. LB, very good. Okay, excellent. Muy bien a todos. Solamente, eh, bueno, vamos terminando la unidad 2. Okay, en esta unidad vimos el uso de... Eh, May and might, y dijimos que may and might los podemos utilizar para expresar. ¿Alguien recuerda? Posibilidades. Posibilidades, ok. También para, de cierta forma, pedir eh, permiso, ¿verdad? Excelente. Eh, ¿Cuál es la estructura de would? ¿Cuál es la estructura de would? ¿Alguien recuerda? Subject. Subject. Would. Would. Verbo infinitivo. Okay, would like plus infinitive. Excellent. Plus complement. Excellent. Okay, ¿qué otro tema recuerdan de la unidad 2? ¿Qué otro tema record, recuerdan de la unidad 2? Topic okay. German from Good. Unit 2. Mm. Perdón, okay. Israel. Perdón, Mr. Alexander o Mr. Mm. Wilmer. Can. Ah, can and could. Can and could. ¿Cuál es más formal en comparación de can or could? Could. Could, excelente. Could eh, lo podemos utilizar para conversaciones formales, para solicitar algo. Y suena, por ejemplo, cuando se quiere decir, podría usted. Could you please tell me? Ok, you también can, aunque can expresa habilidad, habilidad, pero también lo podemos utilizar para solicitar algo, para eh, pedir algo. Sin embargo, could es más formal que can. Eh, ¿Qué vocabulario recuerdan de la de esta unidad 2? Warranty. Warranty, perfect. Warranty. Battery life. Battery life. Battery life. Time, prison, storage, 
storage, excellent. Uh, refund. Okay, we started refund, refund too. Refund. Excellent. Okay, bueno. Eh, este ya le correspondía a Miss Marisol, pero ya tiene eh, problemas con su internet, así que vamos a tomar la asistencia. Mr. Alexander Aaron. Present. Eh, Arely del Carmen Cortés de Peña. Present. Brenda Lisette García Orellana. Carolina Eleonor Cardona de Alvarado. Present, teacher. Edgar José Cruz Amaya. Present, teacher. Elvin Alexander. Present, teacher. Erika Beatriz. Present. Francisco Antonio Renderos. Heidi Marisol Menjibar. Jennifer Marisol Escobar. I'm sorry, Jenny Marisol Escobar Hernández. Present. José Nicolás García Maravilla. Present teacher. Juan Alberto Rivas. Present teacher. Excelente. Eh, Juan Ricardo Alvarenga Alas. Present teacher. Juan Ricardo Menedemo Delgado Vázquez. Present teacher. Laura Noemí Rivas Rivas. Present. Maritza Reyes López. Ronald Alexis Gómez Mendoza. Present teacher. Sonia Miriam Cortés Vargas. Present. Wilmer Fabricio Morales. Ok. Present. Ok, well. Eh, vamos eh, solamente a recordarles también la realización de la actividad número 2. Actividad número 2. La mayoría ya la está finalizando, pero hay cierto gente que se les ha olvidado o aún no han terminado la actividad 2. Así que recordarles Teacher. eso. Vamos a finalizar la clase. Nos vemos el día de mañana. Que tengan una excelente noche. And God bueno. bless you, all of you. Bye bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good morning. Good night. Bye bye. Bendiciones a todo esto. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow.